before we commence and I know that it's integral in all the news reports at the moment. Um, as the President and on behalf of all the members of the Irish Nurses and Midwives Organisation and the Executive Council who are here today also, I want to express solidarity uh, with Vicky Phelan and with her family and with all the other women um, concerned over their, uh, this very grave issue pertaining to cervical spheres. We would like to reassure all those women at this particular time that all nurses and midwives always give care, com compassion and expertise and commitment when dealing with any issues pertaining to health and well-being of the citizens. So just to say that we acknowledge and we, to a certain extent, call for the HSE to give guidance at this particular time to our members who will be dealing with the many, many women who turn up at the clinics because many of our nurses would be involved in, in, in the testing of these individuals. So we're in solidarity with them and we send all our support to all involved. Uh, as you know, we have a busy two and a half days ahead of us and um, the main issues of concern to our members will be the issue of the imminent report from the Public Service Pay Commission relating to pay and um, conditions for nurses and midwives, particularly as we have a crisis in recruitment and retention of nurses and midwives. And it is the time to deal with the issue that now has been uh, plaguing the health service for in excess of 10 years since the moratorium was introduced firstly in 2007, because recruitment and retention has not been corrected. We're still 2,500 nurses less than we had in 2007. We're working in an environment that's much busier, much more litigious, and requires all of our expert skills every single day to be available and at work. Unfortunately, nurses are reporting a very high level of burnout, a very high level of stress, leading to them leaving the profession. And unfortunately, we now have, uh, at the other end of, of, of the scale, our graduates describing the burnout and the stress that they're experiencing even before they enter the profession during their training years. And this is a huge concern to us. The bottom line for us at this conference will be getting the, uh, and, and assuring our members that there is procedure in place. They have voted to accept to be part of a public service stability agreement that allows them have priority within it. We have committed to being bound by that up until such time as it delivers for our members in the event that government in any way departs from it, that will be a big problem and will bring its own consequences. For the second year in a row we can show that over 70% of the interns are considering leaving Ireland, 60% are considering leaving the public health service to work in the private sector, 57% have already been approached by overseas nursing companies while the HSE have only managed to offer permanent contracts to 18%. We asked the interns what incentives would entice them to stay within the public sector and 79% identify increases in pay and improvements in staffing and working conditions as the main incentives. 76% uh, of the respondents also said that staffing levels are not sufficient to support the learning and training of student nurses in the workplace. 